And the last segment here is uh, tracking commissions. So the situation is that QuickBooks Online does not have a built-in mechanism to track commissions or sales commissions. So what we need to do is we need to create a sales rep uh, custom uh, field for invoices, and we're gonna create um, the, the actual uh, percentage calculation of that commission inside of the invoice itself. We're gonna record that expense inside of the invoice or the sales transaction, which could be a sales receipt. And we're also gonna create a liability right on the same transaction. So the setup is the following. First, we have to make sure that we have the custom field for quote unquote sales rep in our sales settings. Then we need to make sure that we have a commission expense account and we have a commission liability payable account. Then we're gonna have items or products uh, that are going to mimic or map that expense, exp uh, that commission expense account and that commission payable account. Then we're gonna set up a bundle um, similar than the method to do bundles uh, for other uh, type of sales in which we want to create more than one item in the same transaction but hide the details. So we're going to create a bundle that includes both of them as a positive and a negative so they can be recorded together. So let's start by, let's go ahead and launch QuickBooks and let's start by going into the settings. So we're going to go into company settings and then we're going to click on sales and we're going to click on sales form content and we want to make sure that our rep or a sales rep is created into one of our custom fields. So that's really, really important. Now you don't have to show it in public if you don't want the customer to see the rep, that's only for internal purposes, that would be okay. But you need to have at least one of these fields using for rep and you have to have this check mark called internal uh, marked to make sure that it, it becomes enabled in the, in the invoice itself. So that's the first thing, we have to make sure that we have that custom field set up. Then we're gonna go into our chart of accounts and we're gonna make sure that we have a commissions expense account. So I'm gonna edit this one real quick and just to simplify things, I'm gonna call this one commission expense and make sure that this is a an expense category account type, commission expense. And then we have this one called commission liability, which is going to point to, it's gonna be an other current liability and it's gonna be here called commission liability. This de detail type really doesn't matter um, you know, I find this to be more confusing than anything else. But if you do want to put something in there, uh, select other current liability, which is pretty much the generic one, and then click on save and close. Okay, so now we have our commission liability and our commission expense accounts. Let's move on to our products and services. And let's make sure that we also have a commission expense item. I'm going to click on edit. And this is a service item, commission expense, and it's pointing to our commission expense income account. Obviously, this is not an income account, but this is the account that is going to be used whenever this product is uh, inside of an invoice itself. So that's the commission expense uh, item. And then let's go to commission liability. Let's edit that. And that needs to point to my commission liability uh, account. Okay, perfect. So as long as I have those two items set up, we're good to go. Now I'm also gonna create a bundle. I'm gonna go ahead and create a bundle. And let's call this one sales item. I'm just using, obviously, a, a generic item name here. So I'm just calling it sales item. And then on my bundle, I'm going to have the actual uh, item of whatever it is that we sell our customers. So let's say it's this one here called services. And then we're going to add commission expense. And we're going to add commission liability. Okay, so we're creating a bundle that contains the actual service that we're selling to our customers. And, and two items that we don't want the customer to see. Now let's say the commission is 15%. So I'm gonna make this uh, negative 0.15. And this has to be negative because this is the expense side. And then the liability is gonna be a positive 0.15. So at the, at the end of the day, these two need to match, just the, the expense needs to be negative and the liability needs to be positive. And then we'll click on save and close. Perfect. I'm gonna now create an invoice. I'll pick one of my customers here. And then I'm gonna select the, bend, the bundle that I created called sales item. You're gonna see all my three items here, my actual services that, that we sold, my commission expense, and my commission liability. So as long as um, I create my rate here under uh, services, let's say this is gonna be $5,000. And I, I'm gonna copy the $5,000 down here and copy the $5,000 down here. 
Okay, so it's the same uh, dollar amount throughout. At the end of the day, um, here I can put uh, custom accounting services, whatever the service happens to be, which is a total of $5,000. If I, if I preview my invoice, my customer only sees $5,000, which is the only thing that I really care my customer to see. But internally, what's happening is uh, $750 is being thrown to my expense account for commissions, and then $750 is being thrown to my liability account, all within the same uh, transaction. So on the rep, I'm gonna put here Hector, who's the salesperson for this job. Then I'm gonna click on save and close. Then I'm gonna go into reports. I'm gonna go into a profit and loss report. I'm gonna do a profit and loss just for today so we can pinpoint that exact transaction. Click on run report. Make sure that this is on accrual basis and click on run. Okay, there's my commission expense right there, $750, okay? That's my commission expense that was coming from inside of that uh, invoice. Now, there was another invoice that was created here on the same date, so it, it's basically um, showing a bunch of transactions. But if I actually move that, I'm gonna actually move it to one more day. So I'm gonna move it one more day so we can just isolate the whole transaction here on the report. It will be a lot easier to see. So I'm gonna push this uh, profit and loss to just one more day forward. And click on run report. Perfect. So that's all I really want to see. I want to see my invoice for 5000 and then I want to see my commission expense for 750 right? So it gives me my effective uh, profit. When I go to my balance sheets, I'm going to go ahead and run my balance sheet. And then I'm going to run that balance sheet as of the 30th, which was the date of that transaction. And then click on run. I should now see, uh, let me make sure that I'm on accrual basis. Of course, always have to check that. And I should see my commission liability of $750. Then when you actually pay that commission, you would just uh, write a check or do an expense, whatever it happens to be. I'm gonna write that commission to uh, Hector, my, my salesperson, and I would hit my commissions liability account, not expense, because expense has already been accrued for. So that's a really important piece. I don't wanna double my expense. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my uh, commission liability account and then pay off my $750, whatever it happens to be. And then I click on save and close. And now my commission liability account should be at uh, zero as long as I use it up to the date uh, that I did the transaction and that should be at zero. Let me just uh, make sure that this is uh, being run in accrual basis. There it is. So I see the, the check that I wrote and then the invoice. So that nets out to zero. So that's uh, kind of a, a, a tricky one. It's not a, a natural transaction. QuickBooks is not really meant to track commissions. That way, that's, that way you have, that's the reason why you have to kind of jump through all those hoops and follow all those processes. So as long as you, you follow through with them and you do all that, at the end of the day, you should be able to, to run a report uh, for every single rep and kind of the way that will work is I'm gonna go ahead and um, Go back into QuickBooks here. So then to get my detailed report of all my commissions I'm gonna go to reports and Then I'm gonna go to enter report name. I'm gonna do sales by item detail I sales by product service detail and I'm gonna click here where it says dates I'm gonna click on all dates and click on run. So that's just show everything um, here it says group by customer product and service is the one that's selected. I'm going to click on rep. So I'm going to use rep instead and click on run. Then I'm going to click on customize and I'm going to go to filter and then I'm going to select just that product or service for the commission. So I'm going to click on commission liability and then click on run. And there it is. I should be able to see broken down by, by rep what my commission liability is and based on all the different invoices that are created. And just for the heck of, um, and just for the sake of keeping the same examples, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, duplicate that invoice. I'm gonna duplicate it real quick just so we can see uh, two different transactions. 
I'm gonna select a, a different customer altogether. I'm gonna keep it on the same uh, rep and I'll just pick a different uh, dollar amount here. So let's say we'll make this one 8,500. Let me just make sure I copy that throughout. 8,500 and let's just also assume that the commission rate for this one uh, changed for some reason. Let's say this was a uh, 13%. Doesn't really matter if the commission changes on the fly, just as long as I use the same one to balance the transactions, we should be okay. There's my invoice for um, 8,500. Then I click on save and close. And now when I go back into this report and I click on run, I should now see all of my commissions, this right here, 1855, all of my commissions uh, for that rep. So as long as I have multiple invoices and I'm using the exact same technique and I have multiple reps, you, ha you would have no problem tracking these uh, by month or whatever it happens to be, right? We can group these by by month, we can group them by, by or, or select it for the whole year, for the whole quarter. So it is a workaround, but it actually works uh, really well.